Okay, today we're going to talk about healthy habits. <clears throat> it's important um, that you know these healthy habits so you can do certain things to stay healthy. And when you're healthy, that means that you are able to be smart, you feel good, and you won't get sick. So now I, the teacher, <laughs> am going to talk and show, and you, the students, are going to watch, listen, and be quiet. So I'm going to talk and show, and you are going to watch, listen, and be quiet. <laughs> so who's being quiet? The student. Yes. And who's talking? The teacher. Great. Okay. So first, I eat healthy food. <laughs> I eat healthy food. <laughs> I drink water. I drink water. I exercise. I exercise. I sleep at night. I sleep at night. And I wash my hands. I wash my hands. Okay, one more time. I eat healthy food. I drink water. I exercise. I sleep at night and I wash my hands. <clears throat> okay, now I, the teacher, will talk and show, and you, the students, will listen, be quiet, and also show. So please stand up. <laughs> okay, so who's talking? And <laughs> who's listening? Okay, so I eat healthy food. I eat healthy food. I drink water. I drink water. I exercise. I exercise. I sleep at night. I sleep at night. And I wash my hands. I wash my hands. Okay, now, well, um, now I will still talk and show, and then Dan will also show, and the rest of the students will be quiet and listen. <laughs> okay. okay, so I eat healthy food. I eat healthy food. I drink water. I drink water. I exercise. I exercise. I sleep at night. I sleep at night and I wash my hands. I wash my hands. Okay, now I, the teacher, will talk and Dan will listen and show. Ready? Okay. I eat healthy food. Good. I drink water. I exercise. I sleep at night. I wash my hands. Okay, good job. Good job for Dan. Okay, now one more time. Um, you, the students, will listen and show, and I, the teacher, will talk and watch you. So please stand back up. <laughs> so, I sleep at night. I drink water. I exercise. Good job. I eat a healthy meal. I wash my hands. Great job, everyone. Now you know healthy habits. All right, today we are doing a lesson called North, South, East, West. And you'll be learning how to use a compass. And this skill is important to learn because it is a tool that the settlers used when they were settling at Jamestown. Also, in case you get lost someday, you might need a compass to help you find your way. So, I will speak and show, and you will watch, listen, and be quiet. So, I will speak and show, and you will watch, listen, and be quiet. In 10 minutes, you will all come to the front of the class and speak and show. So, who will speak? You. Correct. And who will listen? 
Nice. Great. All right. So first, I look at the object. I look at the object. All right. I face the object. I face the object. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if the arrow points north, south, south, east, or west. I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. So first I look at the object. Then I face the object. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. All right. So everyone stand up. I will speak and show, and you will listen and show. All right. So. I look at the object. Okay. I face the object. Okay. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. Great. All right, so one more time. I look at the object. I face the object. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And then I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. All right, good. Now this time, oh wait, I'm sorry. Half the class will, this half of the class, yes, will watch and show, and I will show and speak. You may sit down. All right, so I look at the object. Mm -hmm. I face the object. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if my compass points north, south, east, or west. All right, now I would like you to sit down and I would like Juliet to come up here. Actually, just kidding, you stay there. And you'll do it with me. Okay. All right, so I look at the object. Good. I face the object. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if the, the arrow points north, south, east, or west. You may sit down. Now, <clears throat> all of you will stand up and repeat after me. So I will talk and show, and you will listen, talk, and show. All right, great. So I look at the object. Look, look at, the object. at the object. Great. I face the object. I face, face the, the object. object. Right, great. I look at my compass. I look, look at, at my, my compass. compass. I wait for the, the directions to stop spinning. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if my arrow points north, south, east, or west. And I see if my arrow points north, south, east, east south, <laughs> Or west. Okay. North. 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 South. South. East. East. West. 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 North. South. East. West. North. South. East. West. Very good. All right. Now, I will. We will do the same thing again. Great. So I look at the object. I look at the object. I face the object. I face the object. I look at my compass. I look, look at, at my, my compass. compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if the arrow points north, south, east, 
or west? I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. Very good. All right, can I have the whole class come up here and act it out and speak? Show and speak. <laughs> All right. All right. Repeat after me. I look at the object. I look at the object. I face the object. I face the object. I look at my compass. I look at my compass. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. I wait for the directions to stop spinning. And I see if the arrow points north south, east, or west. I see if the arrow points north, south, east, or west. All right, Juliet, I'm going to have you do it by yourself without me talking. So okay. you will speak and show, and I will listen and be quiet. Okay. I look at the object. I face the object. I look at my compass. I wait for the arrows to stop spinning. I see if my arrow points north, south, east, or west. Very good. All right, you may sit down. We're all done. Hello, students. Welcome to my classroom. Today we're gonna review some of our letter sounds, uh, and we're gonna look at the differences between the sounds of R and L. And this is really important, students, because in English, we have those sounds, R and L, at the beginning and at the end of words. So I've prepared for you today, students, some minimal pairs of words. And that, that is just two words that have one difference in sound, so it makes a different word. So I'm going to... Um, read them and make sure you're paying attention to me. All eyes are on me and that you're silent. So I'm going to read through these minimal pairs of words and you're going to listen and you're going to keep your eyes on me and you're going to be silent. Okay, so the first minimal pair we have is glass and grass. Glass and grass. Next is law and raw, law and raw. Next we have rice and lice, rice and lice. Next we have right, light, right, light. Next minimal pair we have is wrong, long, wrong, long. Okay, students. So I'm going to say four words and raise your hand if you, when you hear one of the words that has a different sound than the other. It doesn't sound like it fits in, okay? I'm going to say four words and you're going to raise your hand when you hear a word that's out of place. Grass, raw, lice, right. Let's do it again. Grass, raw, lice, right. One more time. Grass, raw, lice, right. Good job. So you identified that lice has a, a different sound in the beginning, has that L sound. Has that L sound. So now we're going to move uh, from me speaking to you speaking. So. I'm going to ask for a full class response when I point at the word. 
So I'm going to point at the word, and you will speak the word. So now I'm going to ask for only half the class to follow along with me. I am going to be silent, but you will speak the word that I point to. So half the class, let's take the right half of the class. This is going to be tricky, okay? Pay attention. Glass. Rice. Raw. Grass, lice, light, right, wrong, long. Good job. We're going to use the left uh, side of the class now. Follow along with me and speak the word that I point to. Ready? Rice, raw, law. Lice, right, light, wrong, long. Good job. So now we're going to move um, into a part of the lesson where I'm going to explain how these sounds are different. What really makes these two sounds, R and L, so different anyway? So if this is the mouth, if this is your mouth, students, you have a mouth, right? I have a mouth. And it's kind of shaped like this. And the teeth are in the front of your mouth, correct? I'm no scientist. But when you speak the R sound, where do you think that your tongue goes in your mouth? That R, that R, rice, R, rice, R. Your tongue seems to go in the middle of your, of your palate, in the middle of your, of your mouth, kind of on the top. So your tongue actually goes, rolls back, uh, pointing upward to the top of your mouth. Whereas when you speak the L, so, uh, the L sound, such as love, if you can repeat that word, love. love. See, your tongue is more by your teeth. It's kind of resting right on your teeth there, love. And you're producing the sound as your tongue is, is compressed to the back of your teeth. So there are two um, distinctly separate ways of forming these sounds uh, in the English language. Um, <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> um, I'm going to bring up my tongue twister, which is my favorite part of the lesson. Um, and the tongue twister is, is right over here. So if you take a look at it. <clears throat> I'm going to read the tongue twister first, and then you read it after me. <clears throat> the lice in the rice long is wrong, but the glassy grass of the raw law is right as light. How funny is that? Huh? I'm going to go one more time. <clears throat> the lice in the rice long is wrong, but the glassy grass of the raw law is right as light. Can I get the whole class to just just speak this? Ready? The lice in the rice long is wrong, but the glassy grass of the raw law is right as light. Great job, Caroline. We have to ask you to come down here. I know you're you're getting antsy, so why don't you come down here? Um, and uh, I'm going to ask you to speak this um, this uh, tongue twister. The lice in the rice long is wrong, but the glassy grass of the raw law is right as light. Right as light. Good job, class, and thank you for attending.